Need to dive into a good mystery or follow a fascinating case? We have you covered. There are a ton of great crime series on Netflix. The best crime dramas on Netflix are the ones that grip you from the start. There's nothing like a crime show to stop you in your tracks and bring out an obsession to watch the whole thing in one go. That's because there is something cathartic about watching the best crime dramas. Given true crime dramas have gripped the world in the past few years, the genre as a whole can be pretty exhausting. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will dive into the best crime series on Netflix. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to get updates whenever we post. Crime dramas are some of the most popular TV shows on Netflix at the moment. The shows are constantly attracting a wide audience due to their intense and thrilling themes. Who doesn't love a quality crime drama? We're officially a nation hooked on whodunit murder mysteries and suspenseful thrillers. Committing a crime is always against the law. However, watching crime dramas from the comfort of our home has been our pleasure ever since TV was first invented. Some of the best crime TV series can be found on Netflix, but what are the best Netflix crime shows? That's just what we're going to solve today. And now, let's begin. Here's our list of the best crime series on Netflix. Mindhunter Have you ever wondered what's inside the mind of a serial killer? Have you ever wondered why serial killers are called serial killers? We travel around the country and teach FBI techniques to cops. You guys mind if I bother you for a minute? She was found cuffed and lashed to the bed. Mindhunter shows you exactly that. Based on the real-life work of the FBI's Behavioral Science Unit in the 1970s, this series looks at how the team interviewed notorious serial killers, delving into the psychology of those who commit murder and how this has influenced the way crime cases are solved in the current day. The Sinner I'm guessing that this isn't where you thought you'd be when you woke up this morning. The Sinner appends the classic crime show format by showing the bloody murder and who did it from the get-go. Each season, USA's The Sinner opens with a crime whose perpetrator is immediately revealed. The question is never a whodunit, but instead asks why. And that really is at the core of why many of us enjoy crime drama so much. The unraveling of the mystery is the thing, but The Sinner makes it all about the psychology of the crime. The mystery to unravel is embedded in the past of the person who committed this heinous act. The Sinner remains a very underrated anthology that always delivers a solid case with a great cast around it. It's a good binge watch and there's no prior knowledge that's really necessary to dive into any season of the new series. Collateral They want your information but they don't want to give up any of theirs. The BBC produced crime drama series Collateral is unique for a few reasons. One, it's a crime show featuring a female lead. Two, it's a close-ended four-hour story. And three, it actually delights in nuance instead of simply following a standard procedural format. Hailing from writer David Hare of The Hours and director S.J. Clarkson of Jessica Jones, the story follows Carrie Mulligan as a confident detective in London who's tasked with investigating the murder of a pizza delivery man who may be an immigrant or refugee. Sherlock You and John, you solve puzzles for a living. The name's Sherlock Holmes. When Sherlock launched in 2010, it immediately had the feeling of a show that would be beloved for years as if it had already been around for decades, but we'd only just noticed. Even once you know how all the crimes were committed, it still bears repeat viewing for the beautifully drawn friendship between Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. The Irishman 2019. Things have gotten out of hand with our friend again. And some people are having serious problems with him. Martin Scorsese's long gestating crime epic, centered on in Jimmy Hoffa, is an extraordinary achievement in rich, slow-burn character development. It's a Netflix, but the best way to see it is in one sitting, on the biggest screen possible. Front and center are titanic turns by Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and stepping out of retirement for a moment, Joe Pesci. At times, they're pretty seamless, also they're often distracting, even off-putting. Make no mistake, we're still in the uncanny valley. The Stranger You didn't have to stay with her, you know. Do I know you? The Stranger was one of the most talked about shows of 2020. The series follows a man as he tries to track down his wife after she mysteriously disappears. 
The deeper he investigates, the more the mystery seems to revolve around a stranger he met before his wife vanished. The series lasts for one season, making an easy story to get through fairly quickly. Brilliant Syndrome, 2017 I don't want this to end. I wish I could stay. So abundant, we might as well make them their own genre. Movies about kidnapped females generally go on one of two ways. It's either all about the suspense, figuring out how and if she will get out, or there's a nastier route when some movies focus on a woman's torture and humiliation, turning it into a spectacle. Though Australian director Kate Shortland's adaptation of Melanie Chuston's novel about a tourist imprisoned by a handsome teacher after a passionate one-night stand is a thriller, quite heart-pounding at times, and much of the women's mistreatment is extremely hard to watch. This highly absorbing psychological drama stands out because it's all about the characters and what's going on in their heads. It also differs from other films of its ilk in that this nightmare begins with genuine erotic tension and heat, a mutual attraction. American Crime, 2015 to 2017. We need your son to tell us what's going on. If he tells us what happened, if he tells us the truth, then that's that. American Crime is an anthology crime drama that aired on ABC for three seasons. Emotional and raw, each season digs into the racial, gender, and class issues that play into the current nature of the American criminal justice system by focusing on marginalized people and how their lives are affected by violence, political policies, and cultural stigmas. The show is rife with social commentary. John Ridley, who won an Oscar for his 12 years as slave screenplay, is the showrunner. Each of its three season stars well-known actors like Timothy Hutton, Regina King, and Lily Taylor. Damnation, 2017 to 2018. There's something rotten here in Holden County. And a reckoning will come. Damnation is an American period crime drama set in 1931 at the height of the Great Depression. As labor strikes and wage wars spread, the show focuses on a man named Seth Davenport, a drifter who poses as a preacher. Davenport rallies workers to stand up against their greedy bosses and predatory banks. Davenport becomes the target of wealthy business owners who would like to see him dead. The show raises important questions about who the true criminals are as it exposes all the suffering laborers must endure while their superiors amass wealth. Despite only lasting one season, Damnation is a well-made and powerful contribution to Netflix's offerings. How to Get Away with Murder How to Get Away with Murder is an absolutely delicious, soapy procedural crime series. Viola Davis stars as a morally ambiguous law professor who becomes entangled in a very messy murder mystery that extends to some of her most prized students. There are enough twists in the first season to last an entire series, and they're so much fun. Each successive season has a season-long criminal mystery at its core, and it's your job to try and figure it out. This is great when you want to watch something that doesn't take itself too seriously. You will probably find yourself looking for more shows like these to satisfy your newfound appetite. But where should you go to find sustenance? To find the best crime drama series to stream online, look no further than Netflix as your source. They have an overwhelming amount of amazing shows for you to pick. Make your weekend happening by watching any of these thrilling crime shows and invite your friends at home because a murder mystery is not worth watching if you don't have someone with you to make a discussion about the possible culprits throughout. What are your picks on Netflix's best crime series? Let us know your thoughts about in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anchorly and Anchorly tokens, check out the links in the description.